I'll answer the question. Welcome to Trivial Debates. Hello and welcome to Trivial Debates. Uh, the ultimate... The Ultimate Pop Culture Challenge. I'm your host, Eamon Mater. We have some awesome new debates this month. Each episode, our panelists will be judged and scored on their arguments for facts, passion, and creativity. Our panels this week are... Uh, Kevin Millard. Hello. Uh, Matt George, I believe. Hi. You believe? <laughs> I don't. I don't think of Matt's last name very often. Right? Uh, and Tim Seymour. <laughs> what a smile! What a smile! <laughs> I mean, it's true. All right. So here's how the show works. There's six rounds plus the speed round by our top two panelists. The categories are movies, television, music, sports, history, and the wild card. We want people to be passionate, but not personally mean. Uh, keep in mind that you can skip to a new debate by looking at the time index in the description. Going to the battles that interest you the most. Let's get ready to rumble. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Alright, so for movie, it's a classic answer, or a classic question, and it's a really good one. What is the best movie trilogy? Are we starting with Kevin? Uh, yeah. Sure. Uh, I picked uh, the Austin Powers trilogy. Uh, it's The reason is it's funny. It does callbacks, which is the highest form of comedy. It's, it's almost the same movie all throughout, which is really what you want from a trilogy. It's amazing because the two main characters are done by the same actor. And um, it's just it's nonstop fun. All right. Do you yield the rest of your time. Yep, absolutely. You're going to get that a lot. <laughs> All right, let's go on to Matt. I said The Godfather. Um, the first one, masterpiece. The second one, pretty good. The third one, depending on who you ask, some some like it, some don't. But either way, it's a classic. Everyone should watch the whole thing. It's amazing. That's all I got. <laughs> all right let's move on to tim seymour i went with back to the future because back to the future was one that everybody knows made the delorean famous everyone loves driving in a delorean and it goes really fast 88 kilometers or miles an hour and you shoot around time made marty mcfly mcfly really famous that was what started really michael j fox's career got him going him huge and every movie is different which makes it good you got one that's put in the 1950s, 60s, one that's put in the future, and one that's put in Western. How do you beat that? You get three great movies and all different movies at the same time. Yeah, that's really all I got. I'd <laughs> like to correct. Uh, Michael J. Fox, I believe, did not get his start on Back to the Future. He was on a he TV didn't get his show. Start. He didn't get his start, but it's what made him famous. It's what yeah. really got him a big boost. Are you forget um... about Teen Wolf? <laughs> That was not a big boost. Everybody <laughs> tries to forget about Teen Wolf, Dave. Yes, uh, we don't want to remember Teen Wolf. <laughs> All right, now it's time for a rebuttal round. Just uh, freely so, converse amongst yourselves. Um, and... back to, okay, Back to the Future is a, it's it's a solid choice. It was it was on my short list. Uh, I didn't even think of the Godfather movies because I watched those as an adult instead of when I was younger. And they're, I find them to be boring. They're one of the worst gangster movies in the genre. Um, they're, they're just slow. Like, he goes to Italy at one point. What is that? I, I, it, it's a whole story. 
He's yeah, not, I he's know. Not, yeah, but it's only good for one group of people. It's it's good for one way. certain group of people that like the Godfather type movies. It's not good for everyone. That's the same as Austin Powers. It's good if you want to watch a comedy, but it doesn't have everything. Where with Back to the Future, you got everything. You got romance. You got drama. You got comedy. You got action. You got everything. Well, you've got drama in in uh, in Austin Powers. It's just uh, <laughs> it's thinly. Or it's uh, it's pretty heavily veiled in comedy. <laughs> you've got you've got the father son relationship between Doctor Evil and 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 Scott, and you've got oh, well, Frau and Doctor Evil. You've got the relationships between Austin Powers and his whoever is in the movie at that the the female character in that movie. It does have it all, but it's all done. It's all done in a comedy fashion. There's no well, yes because variety. it's a comedy movie done by a comedian, but. <laughs> And I agree with you that Back to the Future is a good one because I, I know what you said that. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> um, Anybody else? <laughs> Matt, I'd like to ask you a question. And that's of these three trilogies, I've never watched The Godfather. I've watched the other two. So why am I missing out? Because they're masters. The whole story. I know some people find it boring. Guess what? Those people might might also be boring. Or maybe they just can't follow them. Follow the whole entire plot. Who knows? I'm not I'm not judging them. It's just it, it, it's got everything you need. Plus, who doesn't like explosions and pe- people dying? It's got everything. I love how you're True. there's no I love how you're arguing a movie no but comments. saying some people can't follow it. Some people can't. It can't be the greatest if people can't follow it. That's more on the person than the actual it movie. Depends on how many people can or cannot follow it. Like, Austin Powers has got it's it's got it's the called it's got one, like, I remember and the third one I'm like what? We've lost Remember. Matt. Oh. Okay, well, we've lost Matt, it looks like. That's okay. He was out anyways. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, well, like Austin Powers, it's it just has it. It does have everything, and it's it 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 is what it is. It doesn't try to change through the three movies. It's got some new jokes, but it calls back to old ones. It's actually a masterpiece, and I watch that as an adult. But my kids love it. It's timeless. That the first one, I'd agree with you. But then they just started doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah, that's what you want from a trilogy, and it's pretty no. funny that you're saying that about about Austin Powers. But Back to the Future is three of the same movie. No, All right. really good time is up. I have to make my decision. You know, frankly, I think you all had good answers here, but like Kevin was the only one arguing for like eighty percent of it, so I'm gonna have to give the point to him. Okay. All right. Uh, so we are now with Kevin with one, Matt with zero, Tim with zero. All right. Are we ready for the next round? I am. So much enthusiasm. So, I like, yeah, this, the, you guys, the energy is electric. I got to tell you. <laughs> What TV show is long over today's welcome and should have it's, ended it's a long jump, time ago? Off the, it's just jumping off. You can't, you, you can't contain it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's going on this one? Uh, pick Matt. He'll go first. All right. Oh, I said uh, Batwoman because A, that show... For my reasons... And how it lasted three seasons, I couldn't even tell you. I just got canceled. It, 
Oh, I know. I, it was part Matt. of the reason I always didn't pick it. Matt, we but can't I, hear like half your argument. You keep cutting out. Oh. Um, Why don't I move to Tim while he's trying to figure that out? Okay. I pick Star Trek. Because Star Trek has been going on for how many years? And it's the same thing over and over and over again. And they just keep remaking the same freaking thing over and over again. And I know a lot of people like it. and There's big Trekkies out there. But come on. How many years can you make the exact same show over and over again with different people? Stop it. Done. Over. That's it. All right. Let's move to Kevin. All right. Well, I picked The Simpsons. And I picked The Simpsons because I'm a huge Simpsons fan, at least of the first 10, 12 seasons. This is the, the, the question was why has it overstayed or a show that has overstayed its welcome and should end is The Simpsons. It had greatness. It has lost that greatness. I've tried to watch when Disney Plus came out. I tried to watch some of the newer stuff. It's it's bad. It's just it's not good anymore. That show has had its time, um, and it, it should have gone ten years ago. It's not relevant anymore. Every other show kind of came along and ate its lunch. All right, it's Matt. Actually, how's your internet doing, Matt? Uh, I don't know. You tell me. All right, I you can do better. The word I say. So, <laughs> um, you can. Both of the Simpsons were on short list. No. No. So... <laughs> Um, Matt, maybe try take, turning off your camera. Like, it's the only thing I can suggest, like to maybe help with the speed. Oh, that might work. Yeah. Or then, then try to talk. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Well, gotta keep the show moving, Naaman. We're live. All right. Well, um. I guess this is a two-man trivial debate now, so why don't Kevin and Tim argue between themselves over what is more, what show needs to be ended more? Well, The Simpsons is still relevant today. It's still talked about today for all the predictions they've made. you saying 10 years ago it should have been canceled? In the last, like, five years, there's been stuff brought up about how The Simpsons predicted Donald Trump being president, predicted the corona coming from Asia... It's predicting stuff, and it's still being talked about on a regular basis today from their shows. That's why it keeps going. They're like psychics. I, I, um, you need to keep psychics around. I and most people don't watch shows based on their ability to predict the future. Usually, I watch them for entertainment value. And no, the, I Simpsons, like the, psychic. the Simpsons doesn't have it anymore. And to your point about Star Trek being the same, have you ever seen Star Trek? They are not the same. None of them are the same. Nothing they're making now even resembles anything they've made before. And same thing, old people. Everything, everything is the, the, the original series barely resembles anything else. Blow they, up an alien, blow up somebody, have sex with an alien. That's the whole show. Yeah, so you've never seen Star Trek then. You've seen the original. <laughs> they blow up very little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the Simpsons is still relevant because we need they psychics around. Matt, are you back? I think so. You tell me. Yeah, All sounds right. good. All right. Why I didn't don't even you know Batwoman. Oh, yeah, Batwoman? That show is yeah. brutal. I didn't, I didn't even know it was a show. Exactly. See, Simpsons I can give you from the start to, to now. It has gone down. Star Trek, it, it depends on the... It depends on which one you're talking about, because some of them, some of them I haven't seen, and I assume they're about the same as the other ones, you know, the base, the base plot. But I do remember watching the original in the, in the morning before school, and it's generally different than the other ones. 
But Batwoman, oh my god. That overstayed, like, its first episode. Well, that, that's not really a show that overstayed its welcome, then. That's just oh, a bad show. Oh, it overstayed its welcome. It shouldn't even have been on. But thanks to Differ, why did I even watch it? All right. Well, um, honestly, like, Matt, how long did Batwoman even go on for? Three seasons. Three seasons of terribleness. I don't even know why. I do believe that the lead actress actually left the show. Reason being, nobody will actually tell you because the C-dub will give you one answer and she'll give you another answer. Either way, terrible. Three seasons. That doesn't even count as overstaying a welcome. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> three seasons is welcome. barely coming to the party. <laughs> Yeah, three it seasons is part. okay. You're just starting to get into it in the third season. Um, oh, there was nothing to get. All into. right, I'm gonna be honest. This has been made pretty easy for me. If Batman Woman is a three season show, then yeah, that's just completely not even on the table. In Star Trek, I mean, Tim, you don't even seem to really know that much about Star Trek. You didn't argue your points. <laughs> uh, and for so... the record, Star Trek was on for three seasons as well. No, but there's been a hundred of them. But the, it's not yeah. one show. It's it's yeah, a it's yeah. a franchise. I I, I, I let him have it. <laughs> I, I imagine they meant the franchise. Yeah. Yeah, I, I meant the franchise. That. Uh but honestly, Kevin was the only one with an argument here <laughs> here that was like accurate to what <laughs> what like what the question was basically. So I give the you know, the thing to Kevin. Oh, I feel commanding lead. I didn't think I was getting that one anyway. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you picked almost everyone's favorite show on this network. <laughs> That's actually why I picked it. <laughs> All right. That's the whole reason for picking it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> for music. All right. Here we go. So for music, we have what music genre should be banned slash erased from time slash just. It generally needs to cease existence. Uh, we'll start with Tim. I picked rap because nobody actually listens to rap that actually cares about anything. Rap is like, when, remember years ago they talked about video games being banned because of violence? Rap has more violence in it than anything. Like, people follow it, they listen to these rappers, They it causes more crime, more everything in it around everywhere. It caught it promotes gangs, it promotes shootings, it promotes robberies, and that's where a lot of it comes from. So I'm saying rap because it sucks too. All right, wow. <laughs> Let's move on to um, Matt. Okay, so side note I had rap written down and then I thought about it and then I said. There's only one thing worse than rap. Neo-Nazi black metal. I'm pretty sure it says it in the name. Neo-Nazi black metal. These are people that are racist, singing songs about racism. And they're black metal. Black metal amazing. Neo-Nazi part, not so great. <laughs> All right, let's move on to Kevin. It's going to be hard to top neo How are you going to follow that? Metal. Oh, I I will. I got something for you that is scarier than rap, scarier than neo-Nazis. Imagine yourself walking into an elevator and all of a sudden polka music starts playing. You're going to be scared out of your mind. I this love polka music. It's fantastic. No, no, this, is time for Kevin. this is not rebuttal you time. Never, you never want to hear polka out in the wild. Ever. It, it, it's disconcerting. You won't be able to shop. You might not even be able to eat. It's not good. It, it's it, You never want to be surprised by polka. Ever. It could cause violence. Alright, it's time for rebuttals. Polka, polka. Alright. <laughs> Polka's fantastic. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I had rap on my short list. I was going to pick it. Well, like I said, I thought it was neo-Nazi black metal. I summed it up, and I was like, there's no redeeming qualities. 
But neo Nazi black metal doesn't really cause a lot of bad stuff because no one um, listens to black it. Black metals cause church burnings, murders, and um, some of their mem- so, some of the musicians may not be all there, and may have done some things that some rappers would not even consider. No, no, it sounds like you're describing rap. But think the gangs, think of all the blood violence. But think polka of- music, polka music is awesome. No, think of all the mental polka distress music is so much that's fun. caused by polka. It gets I talked to my daughter psyche. last week about taking accordion lessons because I wanted to learn polka. Yeah, yeah, the accordion is that's, that's a good polka. point. The accordion is one of the main instruments in polka. That's and it's all, all right the there. And she I, was I talked to my daughter accordion. last week about wanting to learn it. And I wanted to learn the accordion. The accordion's a fine instrument. It is. Her grandfather small. plays the accordion. He does polka music. And the, and the accordion is also played in Italian music. He doesn't mind um, hurting Celtic people music. with his music. It's beautiful. I understand. You, you are actually trying to, trying, to, trying to defend it against neo-Nazi black metal and a rap. Really? Neo-Nazi oh, black metal? I'll, I'll, it, you know, I'll, defend it, I'll defend it all day against, uh, against rap. Rap, there's not... No. It doesn't cause violence. That's just not true it rap is, is terrible just for the fact that it's terrible oh, and how many yeah how many have an argument <laughs> think about every like artist every type of music how many of them are killed compared to how many of them are it's all rappers that get shot in bars and all that crap yeah because they're coming from an environment where that happens it's right, not which is where rap you do rap causing it's not the rap yeah. causing that to happen I disagree because the rap is going on and then it's well, happening. Okay, you can, hey, rap, you can disagree rap, about it, Tim, but that's fact. That's fact, not opinion. Uh, hey, no, no, fact is how many rappers that it happens that where that's going burning on? Burning churches or burning crosses? How many rappers? That's that very, very, very far other? in between. I that, really like that, to hear more about this neo-Nazi flag. <laughs> like seriously, how can you? That no one even you? knows exists. Did you just make up a, like a genre? No, I, lo- I no, love no, 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 yeah, it. Yeah, it is a genre. Rather big in Europe. That is... Oh yeah. By the way, one of its it's one of its bigger one of the countries where it's bigger in is Poland, where polka was played. Shockingly, what are they doing? They're hating people <laughs> and playing polka. Another place where it's kind of big, Ukraine. Not going to say anything there. And then um, Norway, Finland, and Sweden. Mind you, this is like a segment of people. Mm-hmm. Well, then we can't pick here because we're still bigger. Support Ukraine right now. Um, Unlike here, where metal's kind of big in Europe, it's a lot bigger. It, it's considered more popular. Okay, I have an answer. So, Tim, church burnings. Tim, I hate to break it to you, but you seem to be completely misinformed on the subject of rap and <laughs> <laughs> what it causes. So, I can't pick that. <laughs> Matt, well, I think neo-Nazi black metal is a better answer than polka. I just felt like you didn't have as much of an argument other than I. it is what it is, but that's not enough of an argument to win trivial debate, so I'm giving it to Kevin again. Wow. Polka? You had an argument. A crappy one. I, 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 oh, you can I thought it was a pretty funny one. I thought I thought I thought Matt was okay on that one, but uh, yeah, Polka, yeah. you have to be joking. <laughs> I was church burnings. You ever seen a church burning? Like, <laughs> like faster than you can ever see. Also, I love how Hedgemiel is just completely fucking roasting Tim <laughs> in the comments. Tim, get out of your bubble, Jamil <laughs> says. Just because it's not good. I uh, love how Kevin's confused how he won. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, we got the uh, the music round coming up here. That was the music round. All right, that sports, the music round. sports okay, round. So I don't watch very many. I don't really watch sports unless it's like on in the room and I'm with somebody. So, which sports should I start watching and why? Uh, we start, will go start? to. I think it's back to Kevin. All right, <laughs> marble racing. It's perfect for the person who doesn't like sports. It, 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 it's marble dominant. racing. Marble racing. Yeah. Marble racing. It's pretty entertaining. It's, it's dominoes mixed with horse racing, basically. 
It's it's just they let marbles go down various different obstacles and they have commentary like real sports commentary and um it's it's just it's it's oddly exciting and i think it's perfect for someone who doesn't like sports who who sports doesn't really do anything for you don't have any of the politics in it or anything it's in it it is also like you know those those um yellow things you put the quarter in and it spins around and around and around and you can watch that for hours that's marble racing oh my all god right. i almost used on to um, marble racing. Tim. tim the floor is yours okay i picked hockey i didn't even know marble racing is a thing that's more of a hobby but i picked hockey and i only have one thing to say you're canadian if you're canadian you have to watch hockey Period. Okay, that's it. Okay. <laughs> okay, I picked two. Okay. That's I very two. interesting. I stamp you taking. Yeah, let's move on the back. I said pro wrestling slash combat sports because there is the good <laughs> versus evil, and people understand good versus evil, and it has some action. Now, if you wanted to go a real sport, an actual sport, I said soccer because you can actually explain it to them. As being chess uh, on a field, chasing pro, a ball. Pro wrestling is fun. You you can go with pro wrestling. So yeah, pro wrestling. Like I said, man, it's got everything. You know, good versus evil. It's got action. It's got promos. It's like watching a TV show, and magically a fight breaks out. <laughs> and I've actually watched that the marble thing. 15, 20 minutes, rocking and rolling. An hour later, not so rocking and rolling. All right. Okay. Let's move to rebuttals. Okay, this is easy. Because <laughs> pro sports is entertainment. It's not an actual sport. Oh, and as for hockey? It's all fake. As for hockey, yeah, I remember but... watching hockey. Pro wrestling, watching. pro wrestling is more like... Pro wrestling would be like Olympic wrestling. That's real wrestling. And that's boring yeah, as fuck to watch. People grab each other's balls. Pro, pro wrestling is sports. Entertainment. And it's marble ra- marble racing. Like that's a hobby. That's not a sport either. It's a hobby. I don't know if you can couch that as a hobby. It, it's... Okay, so the marble racing thing. I watched that guy's channel. The one the, the main guy. I don't remember his name right now. But he has autism. And this is what he started doing. Making uh, ma- making obstacle r- r- tracks with marbles and yeah. turned it into a YouTube channel. Yeah, made it Amazing. one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Yeah, I will say, 15, 20 minutes, pretty good. An hour later, guess what? The Kinda creativity the, 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 the creativity and the tracks they make. I mean, they've got marbles on boats for Three God hours later, guess what? Boring it's boring as hell. Fun. You need something exciting. If you, if you don't watch sports, it doesn't say, even doesn't like the, sports, it says, I don't watch sports. Uh, so you need something exciting that's going to keep your attention going. Okay, the why is hockey is so constant. exciting? Because hockey just is constant flow. There's even a slow game in hockey is still more exciting than marble racing. It just keeps going. And you're following the no. puck up and down the ice. There's so many different strategies to it. And you're following everything. And it doesn't stop. It's nonstop unless you're between periods. No. See, it's constant hockey, action. Hockey, hockey depends on, on, on the style of play. If you have two teams that are scoring goals and doing stuff, yeah, I'll give it to you. Pretty but you're exciting. still, even if you're not scoring, you're, you're still back and forth, up and down the ice, constant, back Pretty and forth, boring. back and forth. Pretty boring. Think about going to a live hockey defense. game and then going to a live marble racing game. What the hell is going more exciting? Like to go to a live yeah, marble that. racing game, you have to be a marble. <laughs> <laughs> right, so but you can't even true. go watch it for real. So why the hell would you want to get into something that you can't even go see? You could That's create your own league. It's the type of sport where you could create your own league for pennies. Exactly. <laughs> For about, I don't remember. I I remember like. Okay. Good luck you, finding someone else to join you in that league. You'll be playing against yourself. You that that's the great part about the marble. You just get different color colored marbles, and you don't need to anybody else. I love how Matt is arguing Kevin's point. It's great You're gonna play a game by yourself. Marble racing, and I actually enjoyed it for like fifteen minutes. Yeah. So let's go home and let's play by ourselves. There's a sport. No <laughs> sports are to be competitive. Who are you competing against yourself? I got my right hand versus my left hand. 
See, well, but hockey is not always entertaining. I, 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 yes, I love hockey. Well, let me tell you, there are times where I'm watching a game and all I want is someone to do something. Like, do something. Stop playing. And then the big hit comes or the big goal comes or the big pass comes and you're right back into it and it's exciting. But not always. One, big, one play can make the whole person, period. And if the person does one last time, sports, you watch TFN. When's the last time you see like a wrestling or a marble racing in the sports highlights? You don't. All right. You well, won't see that. On ESPN, well, wrestling doesn't need to be on. Hold sport on, I need to ask it has its own shows. to decide. On ESPN, they actually do have w- only WWE highlights sometimes on Taekwondo their program. Taekwondo is a fun ass sport to watch. Actually, I've watched a little bit of it. That's a fun time. And if you look at Combat I get bored sports. with that because that's just some Pro grappling. Wrestling. Like one does too much grappling and no real action. Well, we see, but the catch is that with pro wrestling, it really depends on the era. See, Jamil, I watch esports, so like that's a bit of a cop out. <laughs> um, so I need to hear some. I need to hear answers to questions about from both Tim and Matt. So first of all, Tim. <coughs> About hockey itself, what argument is there for me to watch it other than I was born in a specific rock? Apparently, his argument is something might happen. No, because the excitement of watching it. Think about the Olympics when Canada's playing in the gold medal game or something like that. It's the most watched thing in the entire country around the world or around the country. The most watched the event country ever. around the world. You're Canadian, and the biggest watched sports event will be a gold medal Canadian game. I remember lining up at a bar to watch the Vancouver Olympics, and it's like a two-hour lineup to get into the bar before the game. Because All everyone right. wants to see it because of the excitement and the camaraderie. It brings everyone together to be one giant family. I yeah, that happens too with soccer. It's called the World Cup. It tends to Tends to bring nations together. All right. Yes, also, we're in Canada. So, so for Matt, um, in terms of pro wrestling, what will get me coming back every week? The storylines that will bring you back every week, and the action, hopefully. More the so not even the sports. See, right. the catch is though, if you don't want sports, odds are the storylines are what, are what will get you. Not the action, but the action might get you. So the sport doesn't even matter what you think. As for the other combat sports, it's action, it's the skill, it's the the athleticism, plus some combat sports. Add in those little riffles from pro wrestling where there's good guys, there's bad guys. They talk a little, sometimes a little too much, they know. And wear their little tights and run around in circles. And they run around and, and they wear right, I made my wear decision. Tights and do stuff. As for hockey, like I said. Uh, hey, here's... I made my decision. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Kevin, okay, so Kevin had interesting points with marble racing, but <laughs> I just don't think it was as compelling as my winner. Uh, Tim, I'm sorry to tell you this, but... <laughs> Lions nationality is not going to win an argument. Uh, so I actually thought that Matt had a really good argument about the storyline and stuff. So I'm going to give it to him. It was a good choice. Is uh, wrestling. Matt, you won the sports round. You're, you know, at least you you're, you're holding true here. I'm, I'm holding true. You know, sports is my middle name. As soon as as I soon as you it. said as soon as you said pro wrestling, I'm like fuck. I wish I thought of that. Uh, I would thought of it because I was watching it. Davin thinks that Marvel Racing is high level. <laughs> Marvel Racing? Yes, I've, I've watched like a lot of those races. Let me tell yeah. you, the first few races, pretty good. <laughs> when you get lost <laughs> into it, though, let me tell you, it kind of sucks. <laughs> it's like watching. Oh, it's like watching two defensive hockey teams play against each other. All it's right. a little brutal. All right. Um, now we move to history. Uh, okay, so who is the most infamous women in history? We will start with, uh, Tim. I took Marilyn Monroe. 
because Marilyn Monroe was married three times. First, she was first not married. She was married to some guy that worked in like a factory. They had no money, a little crappy house. Then she married Joe DiMaggio. They divorced nine months later. Then she married some other guy. She was screwing the president of the United States. Then his brother. Mob bosses everywhere. There's movies still about her. TV shows still coming out now on Netflix about her because of all the stuff she did. Her death, 10 years after she died, got reopened and is still open today as a cold case because they don't know if she was murdered or how she was taken out because of everything she knew from the mob bosses she was screwing to the presidents she was screwing and all the other stuff, the tunnels, everything else about her makes her the most infamous woman because she was taken out is what they think for what she knew and the people she was connected to. All right. I know, Oops. <laughs> Let's move on to um, Kevin. Okay, I picked Bonnie Parker as someone who is actually infamous and was part of, um, uh, obviously, Bonnie and Clyde, which movies have been made about and um, was the inspiration for Natural Born Killers. But she was, she was infamous even in her time. I mean, the police had to gun them down as they drove in a spectacular way basically as a message don't be like this people were starting to identify because it was during the great depression starting to identify with bonnie parker and clive barrow and um it was also scandalous at the time that she was married to someone else and um yeah it's really like nine police dead i mean yeah she she just was one of the first one of the first um, criminal like major female criminals Sam, i don't know i don't think you know what the definition of infamy is if you're picking rosa parks as an infamous person <laughs> oh my god i said that as a joke once <laughs> <laughs> so, so is uh, Matt, matt's turn yeah it's matt's turn well, if, if movies are the uh, criteria for inf- for infamous, apparently uh, Anne Bonny is quite the choice, and that was my choice. She's a pirate, one of the very few lady pirates of the era. Not only does she have little TV shows and documentaries, she's got radio documentaries, she's got Netflix special apparently coming up, she's got everything. Who's that? And a- Annie Bonny. Annie Bonny. Bonnie. And Bonnie, I believe, is what it actually is, but yeah. And Calypso Jack. That's her that's her allegiance to Calypso Jack. If you're in the pirates, she's she's up there. She's on the Jolly Roger. How could you not go wrong? So apparently, since Sam needs a a definition of infamy, since ever, since a lot of people needed a definition of infamy, including person who was posting the questions he actually did it was kind of funny yeah yeah i had to be schooled by my own son (laughs) infamy the state of being well known for some bad quality or deed that's infamy so it's rebuttal time rebuttal time here we go okay Um, all of these three women marilyn monroe is definitely the most famous everyone knows who she is and she was definitely known for bad stuff Screwing presidents, knowing everything, knowing way too much information, she got killed for it. She might not be the worst of them all, but she's definitely the most famous and most infamous woman of all time because of how famous she is and how many people know her. She's known around the world. Yeah, I think of all she's, these three people, she's the only one known all the way around the world. She's just famous. She's not infamous. Yes, I mean, she is. she's infamous for all. She got killed for what she knows and did. For having sex. Like that. No, but having too much information. Everything she knew between the mob bosses and the presidents and everything else. Okay, is but why just she was knowing things around. isn't isn't infamy. Like that isn't something you did. It's something someone told you. And no, like but Anne Bonny, having that information and... was enough to make her infamous because of the information she had and she carried could take out too many powerful people. It was just what, as powerful what, as what the gun. Specific, you know, little what, girl carry. What specific bad deeds did she do? She slept with all the presidents, slept with the mob bosses, and collected all the information on them. She had enough information 
that she could blackmail half the states. So you think she was going around and purposely collecting information? Yes, that's why she ended up dead. That's why her case wow. still a cold case. That's quite honestly, that's insane. That's not no, what she that's was why it's still a cold case right now. No, I, think, I don't. Yeah. That's not going on. The cold case because they don't want to solve it. And I think we know why they don't want to solve it. All right. It. Uh, right, because there's too many people that are involved, and that's what makes her so infamous. And and Anne Bonnie, Anne Bonnie is a is a, is a solid choice, and I looked at that myself, but then realized nobody knows who she is. But so is she actually infamous? No, because nobody knows who she, she is. is. I don't even know who she is. I've never heard of her. She is. You ever played uh, what's that game with the pirates? Uh... If you can't name the game of it, that <laughs> is kind of against your argument, is it not? Um, what is it? It's got it's got the guy, uh, Assassin's Creed. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's that game with the guy in it. Assassin's Creed Four. Yeah, she's in Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I was looking at her. This is you. This is you were trying I only, to tell me why I only know who she is from, I only know who she is from watching um, Black this Sail. This is a Netflix show. And but and and bon, like but Lost but, Pirate um, Kingdom. Everybody knows Bonnie and Clyde. You don't even need to watch a show to know who Bonnie and Clyde are. You know who Bonnie and Clyde are. You don't know who Bonnie Parker is. So was she actually that infamous, or was it Clyde that carried her? It was her. And it, 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 was, it was the two of them. They were together. And right, so she needs a partner. Yeah, but it wasn't, it wasn't who did it on their own. It's who's the most infamous. And they were infamous in their time. And now, you go to Europe, places like that. They're not going to know who she is. They're going to know oh, who Marilyn Monroe absolutely. is. It is true. People do know who Marilyn Monroe is, but she's not it. everyone. And Bonnie and Clyde, everyone knows it. And yes, my pick probably not the best because you know pirates come and go. Sometimes there's pirate season for everyone, and sometimes there and isn't pirate season for everyone. But Bonnie and Clyde is only popular because it keeps getting remade. Why it keeps getting remade, I don't know. It's the same thing. We're getting bored of it. It's Marilyn Monroe. Be, it's supposed to be the same thing. It's a story. But, yeah, but, you know, come on. Yeah, but it's only really a story in North America. You go anywhere else, exactly. it's not. Exactly. Most infamous I, woman I, around I, the uh, world? Marilyn's the only one of these three that's known around the world. I don't believe that. That is untrue. That is, I don't no. believe that at all. She's very and much. She's not. North she's American. only famous, Tim. She's only famous. She's not infamous. There's a. She is infamous for what she carried and what she did to no, collect that information, to blackmail people, to do everything, and carry herself as big as she became. I have, I have never all right, I made my decision. Okay. So, Tim, I don't think you had bad points. I just don't think that's infamy. That's just fame for the most part. Um, but Blackmail! I think... Okay. <laughs> and, that's that's supposed to make her wor- and that's supposed to make her worse than someone who has than two people who have murdered and robbed a bunch of people? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um... Like you do understand, she was my person was on the most one of the most famous pirate ships and was there that's was one cool of the most famous all, pirates. But Kevin had a really good point, which is you who how many people know Bon Anne Bond compared to Bonnie Parker? Well the point is though, the reason why they wouldn't is because pirates come and go. Unless you're a fan of pirates. Then, then she's not really infamous. <laughs> and Bonnie died in 1782. Exactly. Um, but yes, um, she actually does have a lot of shows. And she does but, have... Well, so, if you just said Bonnie shows. Parker, I would know what you were talking about. There's fame, actually a new show coming out And infamy her. requires knowledge of a person. I'm giving it to, to uh, fucking... Uh, uh, fucking Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Kevin! <laughs> fucking Kevin. <laughs> Uh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta put that up. <laughs> All right. All right, moving on. All right, time to move to the wild card round. All right, here we go. Uh... Oh, man, I suck. 
Kim, you're not having a good game here so far. Uh, no. And Kevin's having a re- fucking Kevin's having a really good game. So um, here we go. Uh, Jamil would like to know who's making some batter. I am. <laughs> Gonna, you're gonna you're gonna see my reasoning. All right. Well, I don't think we are because you're you're you have to turn your webcam off to actually. Well, you're not gonna stuff. be able to see it. Maybe you'll get. The All right. Time. Anyways, wild card. What restaurant could you eat at for the rest of your life and why? And we'll start with Matt because clearly. Oh, I believe I I told Eamon to just pick me a restaurant. I'm a fat guy. Let me tell you, it doesn't matter where I go. But I think you said White Castle. I said I White like, Castle. Sure, sounds good to me. Yeah, White Castle. Apparently, they have White Castle burgers. I have no clue what this is, but hey, (laughs) rock and roll. Sounds good. Is that it? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) All right, let's move on to Tim. I picked the keg because the keg has so many different varieties of food. You can go in there seven days a week and get a different meal. I want a steak tonight. I want a lobster tomorrow. I want vegan options. I want burgers. I want salads i want everything and you can get every single thing at the keg so i can go there seven days a week and order a different meal that's completely new and have every different variety of option i want or anyone i'm bringing with me could want is that it i hope someone goes on to kevin (laughs) all right well the one thing that's always the same at the keg is the drinks I picked Beer Town because you can go in and get really great food. I mean, the food is unbelievable, but then you can you can have it with a new beer every time. They have so many, and and uh, they're changing them all the time. And the 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 main reason though, Beer Town is cheese sauce. They have a beer cheese sauce. <coughs> That you dip these these pretzel bites into. Oh my god, I could eat those for the rest of my life. Absolutely. Okay, time for rebuttal. Okay. Okay, uh, beer town. I don't want a different beer every day. I have the beer I like, and I want to stick with the beer I like. I don't want change when it comes to my beer. Well, that's why people you don't the want egg, different you beers. Get there. You get hold steak, on. you get hold lobster, on. Hold you on. get hold on. Salads, the keg you get everything. vegan options. Yes, the keg has vegan options as well. You Who the get hell vegan goes burgers to the and all that. Steakhouse for vegan food. But if you're bringing someone with you that's a vegetarian, they can get whatever they want. You're Why not eating cheese sauce for the rest of your life. To a steakhouse. Because if you're that's where you have to go for the rest of your life, then you can bring whoever you want, and there's going to be something there for them. Cheese sauce. You're not eating the cheese sauce seven days a week for the rest of your life. Yes, I am. I call both yes, on am. that one. Hundred percent, I would. No, I call bullshit on no, that one. You have no that's idea. How much the rest I love of your life. Sauce. Come on, that's insane. There's no yeah. variety, no options. Within a month, you're going fuck cheese sauce. I don't want this anymore. No, you probably no are. It is. It is. Kind yeah. of, it is cheese sauce. But pretzels and cheese sauce for the rest of your life. Be happy. That's insane. No, there's you other. The variety, there's other options there. All the things that you mentioned that they have at the keg, they have at Beer Town. But also a variety of beer and also delicious cheese sauce. Different you beers that people don't want. Varieties of steak Most at people the think keg craft and beer maybe sucks. a burger. Most people hate craft beer. Craft beer sucks. No, most people love craft beer. That's why it's a no. huge industry. Craft beer is pretty it's a huge industry because people, people just have bad taste. I'm sorry. I'm right, sorry. Yeah. It's just a big industry because everybody else has bad taste. Okay. Craft beer sucks. <laughs> There are and some you want you get a nice beer, you, and so you're making it sound like you get a nice beer, you finally like it, and they're going to take it away, and you get something different. Fuck that! I want what I like. There and are you're there getting are that at beer town because they're changing their beer. But most of them, pretty terrible. Yes, you finally get a good beer, they take it away, but you still got your fucking cheese sauce. Yeah, you still have your cheese sauce. That's a fucking good point. <laughs> no, it's not because you know what? You're sick of cheese sauce in a month. Nobody is sick of cheese All sauce. All right, I made my decision. Only one month. I made a decision. I made a decision. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Um, um, hold on. Before before you do, uh, <laughs> we need we need to get to some comments here. 
because <laughs> you're, you're you're going quite fast today, Ben. I got to tell you. Uh, well, I, I I'm sorry, but there just doesn't seem to be, like it seems to be pretty clear what the arguments are to me at least. I don't know. Let's get some comments. Going. Remember, this is the same guy that picked Polka. Yeah. Um, over, neo, over neo Nazi black metal. Jamil says he would go to Applebee's. Uh, Ew. Yeah. Oh. Well, come on. If, if it's Jeff Probst uh, selling it to you, you got you got to think about that. And if you want burgers, you'll have your choice of three burgers. You got the quesadilla burger. Come on. You got the whiskey bacon burger. Yes. Oh. Or you got the classic bacon burger. We'll start oh, with some appetizers. No. Crunchy oh. onion rings. Right. Oh. With honey barbecue sauce. Oh. Double crunch bone in wings. Crispy on the outside, tender on the inside. Wings. I'd like to wings. point out I'd like to point out that, that clip is from Survivor, I believe. So of course it is. So of course fucking hunger deprived people are gonna want food. Doesn't matter how shitty it is. Oh god. Yeah, well, Actually, what about the specialty drinks? The most ideal restaurant that you would want would be a place that has breakfast, mm. lunch, and dinner. So the actual place you should want is a place like Stacked, where they have good breakfast, they have great pick. lunch and dinner options. You can get like, like three crab. o'clock. That's a great pick, actually. But they close uh, at like three o'clock. So how do you go in there at three? Asking someone to check White Castle. It's a shame that it's a shame. That, well, look, I, I gave you the hardest answer you could because you basically opted out of it, and I was I like, did. all right. But White Castle, let me tell you, pretty brutal. But I would probably go with like a restaurant where you have options. What about Outback Steakhouse? Beautiful wood. <laughs> Outback Steak. Plus the brand new Outback Steakhouse Margarita, the grilled pineapple Rita. I like it with the you... keg. I went I went to the keg in like 1985 oh. and then we went the other day. It's <laughs> the, the same. It's the, the same. Keg is as the same, but they do have new options. Um they have new sides on the menu. What about pizza? Like Brussels sprouts with bacon. Pizza under the stars. Right. <laughs> but honestly, I'd pick um, the judge and jury. It's a, a pub here in Burlington. The judge and jury? Yeah. But does it have breakfast? No. Don't need breakfast. If you, you need eat breakfast. There's a good poutine there. Does it have cheese sauce? They have Foster's they on tap. No, it has actual cheese. <laughs> But they have Foster's on tap there. That's a good bar. Um. Anyways, I think that Tim had a pretty good point that after a short amount of time, you would get tired of, or like after enough time, you would get tired of the same food over and over again. And the fact that he pointed out the variety of the keg shows that he'd be able to eat there the rest of his life because he'd have different options. So I'm giving the the option to Tim. I won one. Well, you know what that means. Yeah, I, I know that the food is a laxative. That's why I chose White Castle for him to give him a bad hey, name. It's White Castle. I don't I, I, I couldn't even tell you something good about it. White <laughs> Castle doesn't even really exist in Canada. Eamon, we have a, a tie now uh, for, yes, we do. for the speed round because we got uh, Kevin with uh, four and then Matt and Tim each with one. Tim so, with one, yes. I'm aware. So, so between Matt and Tim, they need to find a way. You need to figure out which one's going to go into the speed round with a, a, a on-the-fly question here. Um, all right. Um. What's your favorite dinosaur and why? <laughs> what? That's a classic. That's a classic. Uh, pterodactyl. All right. All right. Tim. Pterodactyl, go. Pterodactyl. Because they got all the grip, all the fight of all the other dinosaurs, but they can fly. Who wouldn't want to fucking fly? Like, if I had to ride a dinosaur around like it was my horse, I'd want one that could fly and go all over the place. Do anything I want. I want to go to fucking Toronto. I'm flying my pterodactyl. I'm not going to ride a fucking brontosaurus out there. One and it can if you ride a brontosaurus, if you ride a brontosaurus, you might get there slower, but you can see for miles. I mean, like miles. Those I can see so for miles from going up on my pterodactyl. Towers that we have now look look small. <laughs> but my pterodactyl can fly higher than those towers. And fly right over it. But they don't. When you watch them yes, they do. and you read about them, you realize that they flew, but they didn't fly way up there. They 
We're just slightly above everyone else. <laughs> Matt, what dinosaur are you arguing for? I'm arguing I don't think for one the yet. brontosaurus because he picked <laughs> against the brontosaurus. Yeah, because he slagged on the brontosaurus. You're yeah, so I'm going brontosaurus. brontosaurus. But by the way, I... brontosaurus, come on, that thing's a house. It, no one, no one's gonna come after me. Not even. Yeah, not don't even come after you. It'll spit on you with my pterodactyl. Pterodactyls aren't even fun. You're gonna ride it my... for a couple times, and I'm eventually you're gonna go. It's kind of boring. Guess what? My pterodactyl's gonna spit on your brontosaurus's head. Man, you so you're ride, right you're over ride you. a You're going to be having fun for days. No. Well, Flying. Fun days you have fun for days. You can get anywhere, anywhere you want and fast. Ashley's correct that the uh, the uh, the pterodactyl is actually a flying reptile uh, or a um, a, 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 a tatosaur. So what we're saying here is that he didn't even pick a dinosaur. Yeah, he didn't even pick a dinosaur, Ooh. which I think means that by default, Mac gets the point. All right. Ashley's favorite, dinosaur, Ashley's favorite dinosaur is Dino. <laughs> a what? Dino. From the Flintstones. It's a good dinosaur. Um, all right. Which so, is based off of Ron I love. I love that the oh, argument wrong. devolved into what dinosaur you could ride. Like <laughs> that's amazing. Good job, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Brontosaurus, man. Uh, all right, so Matt has advanced to the speed round against Kevin here. So okay, this uh, is where I right. fall apart always. So you got a good chance. All right, let's, let's see. So for the movie round and the speed round, what is the best part about going to a movie theater? Okay, oh, so leaving. Not saying leaving is the best okay. part of movie, leaving movies. Thirty seconds on the clock. Go. Actually, the concession stands are pretty entertaining. What you're going to get. Are you switching your answer to the concessions? Yeah. Okay. Go on. Uh, is he arguing, or do I have to come up with something first? Yeah, let me come up with something. He can argue. Uh, He's got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two. All right. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Oh, I really gotta work on my hotkeys. I thought that that was my your rebuttal. Here we go. I think it's the shared experience with strangers because you never you never know what you're gonna get. It's you sometimes you know you get someone who's annoying. Sometimes you get someone who cries aggressively through half of a movie, and it's the funniest thing you've ever heard. Um, the concessions used to be great. But they've really gone downhill again. It all comes back to cheese sauce for me. <laughs> <laughs> God, it all comes back to cheese sauce. Yeah, I, 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 the cheese sauce at the movie theater has really gone downhill. Like it is your rebuttal it made me not want to go at all. But Matt, thirty seconds. Um, so people, um, yeah. I, I don't care about other about uh, the, the shared experience with other people. I want to see the movie. I want to have some concessions, and I will probably want to get the hell out. But that's me. Um, Jamil saying, "Come on, Matt. You know how to argue." <laughs> to be fair, Jamil, this is his first ever trivial debates, and we had to kind of explain to him in like your rebuttal five minutes. So. <laughs> Uh, well, like I will say, concession stand, pretty entertaining. All those options, come on. Yeah, they're all crap, though. Like they're they are, but that's not they're... the point. There's, there's they... so many options. I... What crap are you gonna pick? I'm... And the problem is the shared experience with other people. Let me tell you, if you're behind the guy that doesn't shut up, all of a sudden you want to clock someone. That's oh, not but... so shared anymore. That that has never actually happened to me in a movie theater. I think that is that is overblown. But what well, you do you, get some I am that guy, and I'm pretty sure someone tried to talk. All right, um... <laughs> you you get a bad um, or you get a, a really good experience when some when you and a really good story when someone cries through half of of Avengers, just <laughs> uncontrollably. It's so much. It's 
it's so much fun. And you, when you, when you're, when you're there and the whole crowd laughs and the, or the whole crowd gasps, or like, I, I can remember those moments better in movies like, um, um, uh, Inglorious Bastards when he, it's this really intense moment. And then he pulls out this ridiculous pipe and everybody in the theater breaks out laughing. It enhances the experience so much more. And all right, I'm going to give it to Kevin. Are you sure? Yes. Also, I, give- Kim, I, I, you, you denied, you, you said there's no way you could want cheese sauce all the time. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese sauce is everything. I'm so angry at the movie theaters for fucking up the cheese sauce that I don't go anymore. <laughs> I think I made it pretty clear why I don't go. People. All right. Movie TV <coughs> round. Here we go. Um, is Should broadcast TV still exist? Yes. All right. Go on. Just simply because it's a, a public utility. I mean, some people aren't going to be able to afford streaming and 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 even the internet, except which hasn't been made a, a public utility. So the, the, the there's always going to be room for broadcast TV, broadcast radio, um, because people need it. They need to be able to tune into what's going on in real time. If something is your rebuttal, um, yeah, you do need broadcast TV and broadcast radio for kind of the similar reasons Kevin sang. If there is a natural disaster, it is the only way that they could really reach you is by radio, television. You're supposed to be arguing for no, he picked yes, so you have to go with no. There is no no, like, you still need it. Uh, Okay. Well, there then I no guess no. Kevin gets another point. <laughs> That's going to be my name from now on, on all podcasts. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Please. Please. Uh, Fucking Kevin. So Matt Matt needs to take four in a row here in order just to tie Kevin. Fucking yes. right. So here Don't you go. worry. <laughs> It's not my fault. Someone picked polka over neo-Nazi black metal. <laughs> like, do you understand because, how crazy that sounds? Because, because you cheered. Because, you're, because, you're, because, because, said, because polka guys, was a better yeah, argument. He had a better argument than you music. did. That's the point uh, of the show. You, <laughs> you have to have a good argument. It doesn't matter how good your answer is if you don't have a good argument. My argument was pretty much church burnings. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> doing church burnings. It barely existed. Anyways, oh. all right, here we go. Music. Okay, what instrument is just nails on a ch- chalkboard? Oh, you know nails this on one already, Eamon. Yeah. I tried to submit it as my. <laughs> this is why it gave me the idea. So, uh, why don't you go on first, Kevin? The recorder. Because that was my my initial answer. For, for other than polka, was what music should be banned? Anything played on a recorder. But I was told it's not a genre. <laughs> Um. Oh, they give these to kids. They don't know how to play them. And then I, I, so I always thought that the recorder was awful for that reason. But no, I know people that know how to play it well. It is still so irritating. It's in that your rebuttal register. Oh, it's awful. Just awful. All right, Matt. What's your answer? Nails on a chalkboard. Musical instrument. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> recorder not bad not bad 10 seconds um, I, I do believe i do believe the argument for polka was the accordion being terrible yeah the accordion apparently yeah. it's terrible <laughs> apparently it's uh, so bad it makes it makes polka music unlistenable oh, it no, makes but... it, it makes it to the point where we have to ban it ban the polka music there's there's nothing wrong with the accordion. It makes polka now music. You're there's nothing wrong with it. Apparently, polka music is not too bad now. <laughs> well, which one is it? Is polka music bad? Or is, <laughs> or is it not so bad? Well, last round it was bad. This round it's good. <laughs> I don't think so. It's either it's bad 
it's the Schrodinger's cat of music. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, apparently the, the accordion is only good. All right. Uh, when it's not done in polka. I mean. <laughs> I mean, like, come on. Matt basically picked the accordion because he was bitter and didn't <laughs> really even mean it. It wasn't really genuine. So I oh, think I'm being very genuine about people. this. <sighs> Apparently, so what? the accordion is only good when not played in polka. No, polka music's fine. Apparently, <laughs> it's not because we're banning it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, answer goes to cat. Uh, it goes to cat. All right. Uh, I think mathema- I think mathematically, uh, we are. Uh, I think Kevin has won this. Uh, I'm calling but... a biased judge on this one. I'm calling for a recount. <laughs> Uh, hold on. Now that that runs over, either, either, either luck doesn't exist because we have here. the numbers in front Stop of us. Stop the steal. Stop the steal. Uh, Stop the presses. <laughs> Apparently, logic does not exist here. Do you guys want to go through uh, the last three just for kicks? Sure. All right. Sure. All right. Uh, What's the best sport to go see live? The best sport to go see live? What is the best sport to go see live? Tell Marble racing. <laughs> no, that would be brutal. I'm pretty sure. No, you'd want because to just up. like your movie answered, there's no people there, so it's obviously superior. <laughs> No, there's there's people there. There's people setting up the marbles. Right. They'd also be annoying. No, you um, do it all on your own. Uh, <laughs> what is the best live sport to go see? <laughs> Soccer. Okay. Have you ever seen those fans? Those fans will. Those those fans are nuts. Wait, I, I don't know who's there. They got knives. They got piss bags, shit bags. They got everything. And plus, they're chasing a ball <laughs> on a field. Not only is the crowd with you, there's action. Unlike Marbles, where it's just some guy talking about Speed Racer 98 going down the hill. Watch uh, out, because balls here's, of here's chaos Speckle Fart. They're in teams. <laughs> okay. Here's Speckle Fart coming right behind him. And they have some of the craziest names, like Popcorn. It's so cute watching those little Marble Racers. <laughs> My God. But goddamn, it's only entertaining for about 15 minutes. So is it the best? No, no, it's freaking brutal. <laughs> but for 15 minutes, you're just, it's like watching a fishing show. You ever just been clicking the channels and all of a sudden a fishing show comes on? No matter what, even if you don't fish, you kind of watch for a moment. It does, you, you can't explain it. That's marble race. It is the fish show. Of the sports hobby, recreational world. Well, there are marbles in boats, but I don't recall seeing any fish. But that's the catch, though. Then you have soccer. <laughs> Not only Wait, why, why would you want to watch people chase a ball around when you could watch, watch a ball chase a bunch of other balls around? Because you're there for the atmosphere. <laughs> you're there for the atmosphere. Remember how we were at the movie because of atmosphere, the interaction. Guess what? The same thing applies at the soccer game. There is no real interaction at the marble event. But at the soccer game, there are a bunch of crazy hooligans. I think if you were a marble, you would disagree. I think that... Flares. Okay. I think that that Matt has delivered a a passionate and (laughs) meaningful argument. (laughs) So I'm giving it to him. Okay. Uh, what? <laughs> the weird part is I actually watch it and think it's actually kind of enjoyable, <laughs> but for 15 minutes. Oh, uh, okay, so uh, speed round history just for kicks. What historic piece of art do you need to go see in person? Ooh. What piece of art? Do you need? What piece of art? Hmm. <sighs> art, art, art. Do you really have to go see a piece of art in person? You've seen all of the great ones. <laughs> from, the, from the comfort of your own chair. Is there anyone that you really need to go see? Holy Picasso. But which one? I don't know. 
A Picasso. Oh. What you Picasso? Didn't go see a Picasso? You have person. to pick a specific one. A uh, specific one. Oh, oh well, now you now I gotta go figure out one. Oh, the one with the the one that everyone sees with the stars in the house and the moon. Starry night. That's not. Yeah, that one there. There you go. I picked the Picasso. Either way, Kevin? Picasso. Not you gotta Picasso, go see the, the scream. Okay, go on with the scream. Well, I imagine that that's what people look like when they're watching marble racing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's exciting. Uh, so marble it, racing? What, what do people look like when they're watching marble racing? The screen, probably looking actually, confused, they look like marble. Confusing. I have a feeling if you're watching marble racing, you have three faces on you. What the hell is this? No, this the scream is... Uh, Why am I, I watching know. this? And... <laughs> How in the hell did they? How in the hell am I not listening to Polka? Well, because it sucked. <laughs> it's awful. Should be banned. But it's not. Polka's actually pretty good. <laughs> oh, we're not even arguing about the point anymore. We're arguing about. I know. The... I, I know. Uh, yeah. Uh, Amen. I don't know if uh, you if you're gonna get anything more out of. Uh... Can I uh, give the point to no it... one? Yes. yes. Yes, I'm gonna give the point to no one. That's really a, that's a good Come choice, Damon. I most, award you no points, and may God have mercy on most, your soul. Most famous pieces of art, <laughs> you can watch them from your from, from your screen. All right, last one, guys, just for kicks. Um, what type of cake is the best type of cake for a birthday party? Pie. <laughs> pie? That's not even cake. <laughs> that's pie. Two completely different things. What if you're born on Pi Day? Still, it's Pi. <laughs> no, no, I, 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 I have it. I have a like real saying, answer. Hey, you know okay, what? go on. We should get birthday tarts. I, I think, <laughs> I think Matt should give his answer, and then I'll give another answer, okay, so Matt. I don't steal it because there's one really good one. All right, Matt, floor is yours. Well, you could say ice cream cake. Ooh, but that cool. melts. That's right. I was thinking cone cake. New you York want a massive cake. cone birthday cake. Some cheese. You know that cheese sauce. That's pretty good stuff, I hear. <laughs> um, it is. It is. Frosting. Usually cream cheese, also. And everyone. Your rebuttal. Cream cheese cake. So you pick cheesecake. Yes. Essentially, I'm I'm picking cheesecake with. Okay, that was that was gonna be my answer. Uh, so then I'll pick your answer before that. Ice cream cake. Yeah, but it melts. It Not if melting, you eat it fast enough. If a cake gross. was good enough, it doesn't have time to melt. But the catch is, ice cream cake is good. Everyone likes it. They like the idea of the ice cream cake. Yeah, that's what. Until that's you what have. Yeah, that's the question. Until you have the ice cream cake. <laughs> Oh, then you realize <laughs> Jamil is not happy. <laughs> <laughs> Should have had a cheesecake because cheesecake has even more variety than ice cream cake. What? That's insane. You can There's make a ice place cream called cake. the cheesecake. You can factory. make ice cream cake out of literally any ice cream ever. Are you saying there's no variety in ice cream? Most of the time, there's like a set, like what ten. Maybe like 100,000 different types of ice cream. Doesn't mean they all make good ice cream cake. That's not the argument. <laughs> it's kind of is. You kind of it, it, it kind of is the argument because it should be the best for a birthday party. Why wouldn't birthday cake be the best cake for a birthday? Because birthday cake because is Because it's not as it's not as superior as a cheesecake or an ice cream cake. But it's still good. But a cheesecake is better. You can have, nice. you can have a hard coating shell. You can have no shell. You can have plain strawberry, blueberry. By the way, you know how many things can go into cheesecake? Everything can go into cheesecake. You know how many things can go in an ice cream cake? Not everything. as many as you want to hope. But pretty much also everything besides for a few things. Okay, man. That's good. That's that's good. <laughs> but cheesecake um, is so much better. Um. We can't trust this judge. He's biased. 
I'm not biased. You're making bad He's arguments. He's a biased judge. <laughs> you're, you're now arguing against the judge. This is not going to work out well for you. All right. I think you all both had pretty terrible arguments, so I'm going to flip a coin. <laughs> Give the points to me. See, like I told you. Give the points to me. Do you want to give the points to Jamil? I'm going to give the points to... I'm going to give the points to myself for sitting through this garbage. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fair. (laughs) (laughs) That's a a trivial debate. First, the host gets a point. A point. It ties with Tim, (laughs) one of the contestants. (laughs) uh... But Tim Tim said hockey. All right, so... Final score. Right. Love eating ice cream and watching my marble race. Final, <laughs> final, score. final score. Kevin with seven. Matt with three. Tim with one. And Eamon also with one. Um, <laughs> and so uh, Kevin wins the game. Fucking Kevin. All right. <laughs> so be sure to follow us on Facebook and YouTube. All the links are in for the information and can be found in the description. Make sure to check out our other podcasts like Long Living Podcast and Super Mater Bros and Star Trek Radio Theater and Star Trek. What's a life in it? And there's kind of a million different Star Trek podcasts and they're all run by my dad. So <laughs> go check them all out uh, wherever this is, I assume. Let, let's talk about fighting games. Let's let's talk about that podcast. Let's let's yeah, plug it. Yeah, that's my podcast. It's fighting game podcast. Uh, Who's the cast? Who's the cast? The cast is. It's. You know what? I'm not gonna talk about it. It's not. Really- <laughs> no, no, <laughs> do this to me. Don't right, do this to me. Look, <laughs> it's me. It's my friend Sonic. It's my friend Seth. It's my friend Paranoia. We all talk about fighting games. We're going to upload a new episode soon because we haven't been able to get together in the past couple of months, but we recorded an episode. I'm editing it right now. It's a good time. Come on by. You can check it out on Spotify and on Apple Podcasts, and um, that's pretty much the place you can find. Do you talk about fighting games like Mega Man? Mega Man is not a fighting game. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Eamon. Okay. I've been trying to tell your dad that like every week. And he keeps <laughs> mentioning it every I week. On, I picked up on that too, and I just, I just didn't want to interrupt him. Like, I'm like, "What are you doing, Mega Man?" <laughs> Wait, There's what, a what? mention of Mega Man in one of the descriptions here, like in one of his episode descriptions. Mega, I, uh, let me check this here. I'm interested in what I was talking about, Mega Man. About yeah, you mentioned Mega Man X in uh, bonus episode number two when we. Oh, when are we... okay. Yeah, so. Because we couldn't get an episode out on New Year's, um, and we didn't really have anything to talk about fighting games at the time, we decided to talk about Mega Man X on a bonus episode <laughs> because we literally wanted to just make an apology video for anybody who, because we were supposed to have a uh, fucking uh, a uh, a New Year's episode and nothing happened came about. You, you, you let that in the fans. So you're like, we'll talk about Mega Man instead. <laughs> and confuse your dad for four months on what the hell the podcast is about. That's not my. Pro- that, it's not my fault that you're incompetent. <laughs> well, I, 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 I've known. I know about Mega Man. I knew. I thought maybe it was a fighting game. Now, who this knows? is the guy that picked. Poker. I mean, to be fair, Mega Man is in fighting games <laughs> like Marvel vs. Capcom and the like, but it itself is not a fighting game. Okay. Uh, well, Thank you, true. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Yes, King of Fighters. You talk about that one. Yeah. Right. And Super Smash Bro Seth. No, Super Smash Brothers. Just the Lord. Sonic I'll, Smash I'll you. Uh, Super Sonic Smash Bro and Seth are two different people. You always say them as one person's name. Because you haven't put a comma in your description on your about section. It says Sam Jerka, comma, Sonic this, Smash Bro. I love Bro, this family infighting. Seth. <laughs> I'm <laughs> not paranoia. I thought I fixed that. <laughs> <laughs> So it seems like it's what maybe they are one guy. They could yeah. be. How do how do we know? You know, commas are kind of important. without punctuation, how you... Matt. How are we supposed to? Exactly. We're still on the air. We should probably. Uh... Yeah. Without arguments, what's the point of a debate show? 
Right. How how was this to watch, Jamil? How was this episode? <laughs> it was a tough watch. Um, <laughs> Amen. Thank you very much for what you did today. Uh, you what you should... were dealing with this biased judge. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, you saw this, right, Jimmy? I, I did watch this. Um, my only tried. suggestion is if you're gonna. My suggestion is if you're gonna be on a show, to watch the show so you know what you're gonna actually do on said show. And it's not like there's a hundred episodes that you can choose from. You know, wink, wink. This is episode sixty-three overall. Um, uh, uh, Sam's calling for a, a rap battle between myself and Eamon. <laughs> Uh, they I don't wins. know if I want to see it. It was that. almost banned. I don't, I don't know if you noticed know. in the music <laughs> round. <laughs> that is the music to ban, yes. Especially <laughs> because Tim's going to start coming in and explaining how rap battle causes games. It's going to make us have violence against each other, he said. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> you know, yeah, you listen to me. Nobody listens yeah. to me. <laughs> for a like, very good reason. Needs to be banned. <laughs> for a very good reason, Tim. <laughs> like, uh, like, Tim, I like you, but your performance today didn't make me want to like you. <laughs> well, I, I tried to change my music answer, and Eamon wouldn't let me last minute. Look, what you, you could have argued me? rap. Rap is totally you? fine art. You just took the totally worst like perspective against the genre. You could have mentioned mumble that? rap. You could have talked about how like the commercialization of its original intent. You could have talked about a ton of things. You talked about the worst possible thing. The post- <laughs> like, the most. I don't like, know what he wanted to change it to. Yeah, that's that's interesting. What did you want to change it to, Tim? I, I wanted to change it to porn music. I think he would have won. <laughs> I think worse than Jamil just died. <laughs> because I want to hear the slapping and all that and the moaning. I don't want to hear the music. <laughs> this would have been this would have been great. I, I, see, <laughs> by Judge Man. I don't know if that's oh, a yeah. genre. Is it a genre? Porn music. Sure, I don't know. <laughs> what, what is it called? It's like. Porn. No, it. no, no. There's like a name for it. Like, like, uh, instrumental funky, <laughs> funky music, like a funk score. Down? Yeah, it'd like, be like funk. It, it'd be like funk something. Because if you really think about like our our our, uh, our trivial debates theme song, it's called Funk Down. See, and it's kind of like this, but so different. that could be banned. What? Well, then we have no theme. This is amazing. <laughs> you don't know nothing. <laughs> you know nothing, Jon Snow. All right. Keep Eamon, mind. have a good day, okay? <laughs> thank you very much, Eamon. All right. Well, thank you, Eamon, for being the host today. Is Eamon uh, still, he's still there, right? Uh, thank you, Jamil, for coming in. And thank you for being with us for another edition of Trivial Debates. Uh, you heard it here first. Is Eamon frozen? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, I'll take over. I just, um, thought, he, I just thought he became a statue. Uh, well, he's he's doing the mannequin challenge, I think. So <laughs> the show sucked his will to live. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, congratulations again him. to uh to Kevin, fucking Kevin, for fucking winning this episode. Kevin. Uh, and uh, quite a, quite a dominant performance, I gotta say. It was pretty uh, good. It was pretty good. Yeah. It was something else. Okay, I do well. I do like the Marvel race pick. That was that uh, was pretty good. <laughs> yeah thanks thanks for uh um being with us uh tim and uh and matt and host amen uh matt oh here comes amen uh, well you gotta fix this camera all right so amen is back okay and on that is. note uh i think we can sign off for tonight also check out dav and scalehorn's podcast locutors a track uh his star trek theme channel and also his x-men the animated series rewatch called x-rated he does every tuesday with andre uh, and also check out uh, the Hellbound podcast with Michael Chan and Alex Blackburn. We already mentioned, let's talk about fighting games. And uh, we'll be on Live Long and Podcast tomorrow to talk about uh, Star Trek Enterprise episode Fallen Hero. I think they're going to rise out or something. All right. Um, I can't. I can't. I can. Um, Sam says, I can imagine Kevin introduced himself as I'm I am from now Kevin. on. <laughs> I'm fucking Kevin. <laughs> fucking Kevin. Yeah. He's going to get t shirts made. <laughs> To me, it sounds like you're fucking someone named Kevin. I've been fucking Kevin for years. <laughs> I mean, up on two decades worth. So. For some number of years. For some number of years. Some number of years. Uh, Eamon keeps trying to reconnect, but he seems to be having some difficult difficulties. So uh, we are. Well, uh, Tim, uh, we'll be seeing you in Brantford as well. So. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in the shipmobile. Okay. 
All right. Uh, let's let's sign out for tonight, guys. Uh, I don't know if Eamon's going to be able to make it back in here or not. That's those right. neo neo Nazi black metal guys. They got to him. They got to him. They were like, they God, we're, we're so gl- grateful you didn't ban us. They're going to burn them at, at the stake now. Uh oh. All right, here we go. <laughs> Thank you.